Yo, what's up YouTube? Sionic Kevin here. And at the time of recording this, it has been a week since patch 3.1 was released for Apex Legends. As you all may know, we now have the firing range, which is something that pretty much everyone has been asking for since launch. Now that it's here, I'm here to show you how to streamline your warm-up routine and help you improve your aim. With that said, this guide is more beneficial for beginners or those without much experience in the FPS genre. The first thing that I do when I go into firing range is that I pick up the 301 with all the purple and gold attachments where possible and my preferred optic, which is the 2x bruiser. And uh, what I do is I put my crosshair off center of the blue squares and while I'm ADSing, I snap to the center of them and try to hold the recoil pattern. Every gun does have a recoil pattern and it is more noticeable while stock, but maybe that's a topic for another video. Once you do this for a bunch of targets and you feel comfortable, maybe you can transition towards spray transfers between multiple blue targets. And once you've gotten the hang of that, then you can practice uh, headshots on the black person models and also the dummies. I usually tend to pick up the wingman next and uh, just to practice my point and click accuracy, I stand right in front of the center dummy and I usually transition between hitting the right and left targets around it just to get a sense of being able to snap different distances. Uh, essentially the goal with this exercise is to just train yourself to hit headshots consistently and it's definitely going to be a challenge uh, especially when you're cold but uh, as you do the warm up more and more you get a feel for it and uh, over time Damn, you'll get better. I pick up the R99 and uh, I like to sidestep to one side and just practice my recoil control. And uh, essentially you just do that for a few times until you get the hang of it. And then we can move on to hitting that beam on that dummy and then pulling out another gun like a PK which is really good for practicing flex on. And I just slide up and kind of just snap to the targets around the dummy as well. You can also practice uh, hero specific mechanics such as Pathfinder's grapple in and also applying the same training exercise to work on your consistency with flicks and spray transfers in the air. I also like to practice different movement techniques and uh, see how specific interactions with like zip lines and sliding will affect the accuracies of specific weapons. And essentially this kind of teaches me how to take certain gunfights. Uh, such as like when you're sliding sideways with uh, specific weapons, they'll actually be fairly accurate, such as a no scope with a sniper rifle on the first shot. You can also use firing range to practice certain movement techniques such as zipline bouncing, which I'm not particularly great at, or also wall kicking, which you'll see later on. I also highly encourage you guys to use firing range as a creative outlet. For you guys to just experiment with different trick shots you can possibly do if you're feeling spicy in some pubs. Um, it's just a nice way to kind of figure out like what's physically possible and experiment with different uh, shots that realistically might never happen but it's good to know that you can do. I also like to practice my wall kicking and mid-air peacekeeper flicks on that dummy. And uh, it just helps me with hitting those wall kicks consistently in games where I need them to reach certain ledges fast while I'm like avoiding enemies. If you guys found this guide helpful, please let me know in the comments below. I really want to know what you guys think about them. So if you got something out of this video and you enjoyed it, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and following me on Twitch. I stream every night Pacific time if possible. Otherwise, have a nice day and I will see you guys next time.